The Metrics World's Strongest Man final rolls on from Sun City with the penultimate event, the deadlift. With just two heats remaining in the deadlift, it's American Nick Best leading with nine repetitions of the 781-pound card. Englishman Terry Hollins put up eight reps, which has him in second. Serbia's Urban Katona is in third, and a physically banged-up Derek Poundstone continues to struggle. Travis Ortmeier's bid for the championship was probably derailed by the ankle injury he suffered at the giant log press, but the Texan is fighting on. And this is Mikhail Koklaev of Russia. He's in third place overall and very much in striking distance of the league. Just three points behind Zadrina Savickas. And our leader so far in this event, Nick Best with nine reps. Both of these guys could possibly top that with 10 or more. Well, it's amazing that Travis is still competing. Now he's at three reps with Koklaev. Koklaev is such a beautiful deadlift, such a technical deadlift. Usually he gets the hips much lower in the deadlift. This is a little unusual for him. He's almost doing a stiff leg deadlift. Ortmeier dropping the hips on the reps, using more of the leg. Koklaev really relying on the erectors. Fourth minute eight. Now Koklaev is tied with Nick Best for the lead at nine. And Koklaev looks bigger, stronger than I've ever seen him before. And I wonder if that has something to do with the change in his technique. Koklaev has gone into the lead with 10. Remember, that's 781 pounds. These guys are buddies to the end. Travis even named his son after Mikhail. I'm not sure who's more disappointed that Mikhail didn't pull 11 reps, Travis or Mikhail. Travis currently tied for third place in the deadlift, eight repetitions. And Mikhail Koklaev, our current leader in the deadlift, 10 solid reps. Both of those guys got to be really happy with those results. Travis, I'm surprised he did so well. He didn't get as many reps in the qualifier with the deadlift. And now in the final, it's even heavier.